It's your dude, it's your dog, it's your daddy, the v Lone God Franklin himself. I'm very high. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because today we got another tutorial for GTA 5. And uh, today we're learning how to install custom stash, ho stash houses for LS Life. We're going to learn how to update our stash house XML file so that we can have a custom stash house like this one around the corner or this one tucked away inside of an alley if you guys watch some of my live streams you know about that one but uh without wasting any time we're going to explain the way stash houses work we're just gonna jump right into it what what but before we jump into that we're gonna have to break down some requirements that we're gonna need in order for this mod to work correctly all right so we are definitely gonna need this mod right here it's called show coordinates with saving feature.net and of course it's by liberty locked and this came out back in the day this is linked down in that description go ahead and download it right now while you're watching this video and please do watch the video to the end guys so what this mod here does is it literally will record the coordinates if you see here wherever we go so we're going to need those x y and z coordinates because inside of the stash house file it's uh, basically tells you where the doors and, and stash spot is based on the XYZ coordinates. All right, now join me in the V loan God. We're going to go check out one of our stash houses and we're going to walk through and show you each of the different areas and how they relate to the XML file. So let's go ahead and find a stash house. We're going to go to this one right here in the alley in Burton. That's where we're going to go. We're going to check it out. That's one of my custom stash houses that I've already made. And it's just like any old stash house, except, you know, we're going to learn where the uh, exits and entrances do and all that cool stuff. So let's just hop on over there right now. So this is uh, called the entrance position, right? So you see this little blip here floating in the air. This is called the entrance position. Now, when we look inside the XML, I'm going to show you guys where the entrance position is and, you know, we justify where it is in the world with the XYZ coordinates. So I'm gonna hop up inside the stash house, just like you would any stash house. You just hit your E or right on the D-pad. And boom, where we just came in is also where we can leave. This is what's called the exit position. So the exit position is, just happens to be attached to this room, which takes us over here to the right. This here, is going to be our health pickup. So that too has an XYZ coordinate. And then our last position that we need to get coordinates for. Damn, that boy look good. All right, this is gonna be our next position that we'll have to uh, edit inside the XML. This is the actual stash right here. So you got your entrance and your exit. You got your health and your stash. We're gonna get XYZ coordinates for all of these. But before we can do that, we have to download that mod and install it. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that mod really quick. Yeah, we're going to make our own stash house, you guys. But the way we do it is going to be pretty cool. Stick around. All right, guys. So we've got the show coordinates here thing. Uh, if you haven't already installed it, this is the part where I show you guys how to install it. And we're going to edit the configuration file to assign hotkeys to get our coordinates and to save them. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click that download button, give it a download. And once you've got it opened up your archive here, you're gonna see two files, the chord recorder.cs and chord recorder.ini. You're gonna to need to drag those into your GTA 5 scripts directory. We're gonna drop these two files directly into our scripts folder just like that and I've already got them installed and I don't mind replacing them let's go ahead for the sake of science and you're going to notice the two files are here in our scripts folder and we're looking for the chord recorder.ini the icon looks like a little piece of paper with a gear on it go ahead and give that a double click and that's going to open up inside of a text editor no problem notepad and uh, there's only two things um, three things that we can alter. Um, so for me, the enable key, that's going to turn the mod on. 
But first, before we do any of that, down here where it says enable, I'm going to turn that to fall. So that's what the enable key does. It turns the mod on, it turns the mod off. And the save key, well, that's going to save the coordinates that we're at to a text file. It's pretty awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and switch up our enable keys. You can use whatever keys you guys want. Me, personally, I'm going to be using uh, F3 as the enable key, like so. Make that a capital. And uh, the save key is going to be F2. Uh, we got that done. We're going to hit save up here. File save or control S if you're on Windows. All right, folks, we're pulling up on Frank's spot. Oh, hey, it's crazy Amy. She holds it down for the click. All right, guys, we're here. And uh, what we're going to do is create a stash house here at Franklin's house. How crazy is that, right? That's a big ass pile of shit. He's a dog, bro. Anyways. <laughs> So we've got our coordinate enabled. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, decide where we want our entrance to be. And we'll put it right here. We're just gonna hit F2, our save key. And we're gonna call this entrance. All right, I do have a sit anywhere mod. So Franklin's gonna be popping a squat a lot. Now that we've got our entrance, it's a good thing that we're Franklin because we can go inside of the house. Now what we have to get is the exit. The exit is just that. It is the exit. But it is also, if you think about it, what you exit into this world. All right, go ahead and hit save on the exit. Let's just get right and square up on the exit there. All right, cool. Ooh, damn, they busting out there. All right, we're going to call this one <laughs> exit. Damn, I think Ashley's body in somebody. Oh, that racket. oh damn. Gotta reload. It's over. Just another day in LS, bro. Dude. He stole the he's still in the cop car. No, he didn't, bro. Uh, we got a little sidetracked. Let's go ahead and find the uh, positioning for our health pack. You know, we could uh, easily just try to put it in the kitchen like Frank's, but the way that the coordinates are gonna are gonna place it in here, man, that health pack is gonna be like at the center of gravity. You, you'll see, you'll see. So let's go ahead, let's just try to mimic this and we'll grab the coordinates real quick, hitting F2. And we'll call this one health. All right, now that we've got that done, we're gonna get our stash on. So we're gonna find the spot that we want to be our stash. Damn, where's a good place to put the dope? Hey, you know what? In auntie's room. Y'all didn't know auntie was a trapper, huh? Yeah, she um, she paid her home mortgage off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, we're gonna make auntie's room the stash house, the stash room. Cause Franklin's got way too much stuff in his room. So we're gonna go ahead and hit F2 and call this one stash. All right, guys, we've done it. We've got all the coordinates we needed for the entrance and the entrance and the exit, our health and where our stash is gonna be. So uh, let's get up out of here and um, you know see what we can do as far as getting uh, this into a stash house. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we're out of the game really quick and we hopped over to our scripts folder. Uh, if we look for these coordinate recorder files, you'll see that it's created a new text file called chord recorder chords, right? Try to say that three times. That's quick, quick, not even going to try. Go ahead and double click that. It's going to open up inside a text file and you'll see we've got our coordinates that we need time stamped, dated and all that with the titles for the entrance. We have our X, Y and Z and also direction that your character is facing. That's a little extra, but all we need is the X, Y, Z for these. And I'm going to show you guys why. <clears throat> and I'm going to look for the LS life folder. I'm going to give that a click clack and I'm going to look for stash LS life underscore stash houses. I'm going to right click on these and I'm going to open that up with notepad. 
<clears throat> and now here's where the X, Y, and Z comes into play. All right, so we've got our coordinates on the right and we've got our LS Live stash houses on the left here. And uh, let's go to the very top of this file. Overall, you have your stash house, then you have your house ID. So I have four different stash houses. So from zero to zero to three, that is how my IDs go. So if you're adding a new stash house, you want to make it the next value up. But since we're editing an existing house, uh, we're just going to be changing the X, Y, and Z. Uh, we're not gonna worry about changing the ID. <clears throat> so here's the entrance position. This is where the front door is, the X, the Y, and the Z. So we're gonna just replace that for each of these different uh, entrance, exit, stash, and health. And uh, let's just do that right now. So yeah, guys, just stick to the end of the video and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments when you get there. All right. Okay, guys, let's take a look here. I've got everything replaced for the X, Y, Z's. We've got the entrance position here, the exit position, stash position, and the health position, all edited, arranged positions. We don't need to worry about any of these other tags. That's for another video, another time. But now that we've got everything arranged, we're gonna hit save, and then we're gonna hop back into San Andreas in the city of Los Santos Strawberry area. And we're gonna reload the game. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. We're gonna we're gonna use Frank's house as a stash house. And let me tell you guys, it's gonna be sweet. I'm not even, as they say, a la no cap. I'm just saying, guys. All right, I'll see you inside. I'll see you. Okay. Oh, we've reloaded. Let's see if we can at least walk through the front door. Oh, what the. Oh, hell no, nah, man. Can a nigga come inside? Oh, damn. It's Lamar up in this bitch. Ah, gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> this boy's stupid. All right, guys. Evil Birdman hand rub. Let's see if we can get a homie finally up inside Frank's house. It's like the only thing he wanted in this life. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We're going to bend this corner and hopefully this works. All right, let's get Lamar. Oh, shit, I can already see it. There it is, guys. The moment of truth has paid off. There is our entrance to the house. The question is, can we get up inside? Hey. Oh, and just like that, Lamar is finally up in this Oh, shoot. All right, cool. cool. <laughs> A little anticlimactic, but <clears throat> Lamar is finally up in the game. I mean, in the game, he's finally up in Frank's crib. And you know, I think he's got his eye on Frank's auntie, but I'm looking for that health pack and I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the health pack. Okay. Let's check out the stash. There's the stash. Auntie, keep that bag in here. You can smell that. Mm-hmm. Mm, just coming out the dresser like you can smell that money. Damn! This dresser's made out of money. Alright, cool. There's our stash in the safe house. The only thing we're missing is the health pack. Well, I really just I can't explain that. I can't explain where the health pack might be. But I know one thing's for sure. We chilling in Franklin's house and he don't know. Man, we just gonna sit on the couch. I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. Um, I'm gonna sit on the couch. Uh, me and Franklin's auntie, we just gonna we gonna we gonna watch whatever the hell this is on her TV. But I hope you guys had fun. It's your dude, very high. Don't forget to like, comment, and please, if you could, I appreciate it. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video about GTA 5. Oh damn. Damn, she just waved Lamar over like, come over here. Damn, she's making small talk with Lamar. Man, her head look crazy. What if you put that hair on Franklin? All right, guys, so we're up in the spot. We're going to sit here and read this Kama Sutra book with our good friend here. <laughs> Lamar's finally up in the crib. 
I hope you guys have fun. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Uh, I appreciate it, and thank you for all the love. I'll see you in the next GTA 5 video, fam. Peace.